Talk Heavy TV, DJ Cousin B, House Business, So Blessed, MME, Trendsetter, Green Room TV, Beautiful Outside, it's kind of windy, I don't know, Mother Nature back and kind of funny, she be having her days of rainy and whatnot, but listen, we got a couple special guests in the building, you know what I'm saying, y'all know how we do, we, we pull up, Talk Heavy TV, we pull up, wherever you at, wherever your hood at, you know, we pull up. We're going to only go up with my boy, Bam Beats, man. For those of you who don't know, y'all just need to Google the name and do your research. I'm telling you, one nasty-ass producer. Talk Heavy TV. Talk, talk Heavy. Talk, talk, talk Heavy, Heavy, Heavy TV. TV. Talk, talk, talk heavy, heavy, talk heavy, heavy TV. Talk heavy, 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 heavy TV. DJ, 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 cousin, 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 cousin B. Bam B. Bam, 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 Beats. How's business? How? 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 Talk heavy TV. DJ Cousin D. Green Room TV. Got my OG in the back. <laughs> Got Peter here. <laughs> Teak Bakes. You know what I'm saying? Up here in South Philly. About to check my man out. Bam. Beats. Stay out of Wilmington, you know what I'm saying? Out here doing the thing, the thing, thing, thing. The thing You know what I'm saying? So, y'all don't know who he is. Make sure you do your research, but you know. Matter of fact, let me say something real quick. Yeah. I'm the old here, and he makes those beats. He makes them beats for the block organs and all that. You hear me? He, he got some fine bam, bam on the beat. <laughs> and, it's it. and it's sample game is real, so. We're going to get into it and we're going to sit down and talk to him. You know what I mean? See what he got going on. Like, hey, head. Talk heavy. TV. Y'all know the trends, house business, so blessed, so blessed. I have a very, very special guest. Had a chance to catch up with this man. <laughs> Got the homie, man. He's I consider him so underrated because he's he's nasty, nasty, nasty on on the producer side, the B side. Bam beats, man. What's, what's good with you, baby? How you been, man? How you been? It's working, man. I heard that. What you been up to, man, on the music side? Yo, taking over, man. Like, right, right. I mean, I got so many different projects I'm working on. Right. It's crazy, man. Um, I've been coming up here, um, working my, with my man Tommy. Right. And, um, my man Mitch. Man, I just the whole the whole week factory. You know, everybody. Right, 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 right. The family, like, the, family yeah, the family, the family. How's yeah. the family doing? How's the family doing? Man, we moving, man. I heard that. We moving, we moving, so. All right, well, let me, let, me, let me take you back down, you know, your timeline a little bit, you know. What made you start making beats, man? Uh, yo, for real, for real, it was, like, when I was seventh grade. Okay, uh, so about 14, 15? Yeah, around okay. that age, yeah, me and my man. I, I used to, like, go to his crib and stuff because his, his mom and my mom was cool. Right. So, like, I would just go over there and chill when he played the game and all that, like, you know, young bull yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 2K5, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, his older brother right. would make beats, right. but I never really knew what they was because, like, he would just, like, his room was across the hallway from my from my boy's room. Right, so right. So, he, like, had a door open playing beats and just rapping, like, going on us, though, like, <laughs> big head, young yeah, boy, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. be like, dang, yeah. so... 
But uh, like his older brother kind of like sat me down and was like, yo, this is what I use. Right. So from then it was a rap. It was a rap. Yeah. So what, what, what was your first beat? Like, like what, what, what age was your really first beat that you was like, yo, this is this is something that I really want to do? Uh, for real, for real, I think my first real job that was like start to finish. Right was like when we was in ninth grade in high school. Right. Cause like from the transition from like seventh to ninth grade, I was still messing with the program. Right, right. So it was like, I was trying to get used to it, trying to figure out stuff, how to use it. But uh, I can't even remember the name of, I think it was called like class. Cause remember uh, Who Hotter Than Me came yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. So like, I mean the beat after that. And right. then like, I showed it to Mitch. He was like, yeah, this is hot, right. but you need a chorus. You need like, <laughs> right, you like start on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> So who was so Mitch was your first artist on 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 the beat that you officially put out? Yeah, okay. yeah, Mitch was the first artist. Yeah. All right, that's yeah, what's up. That's yeah. what's up. How long y'all y'all been friends since high school? Yeah, high that's school. What's up. Yeah, so yeah, I mean we, it's crazy, man. Like, I think like we we just was like on the same like because he was like yo like this is what you gotta do right like, all right boom. Then he was like, yo, I got YouTube videos for you to watch. Right. Then it was like, oh, all right. Like, you know right, I mean? right. So, Playing, right. Yeah, right. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. So, you know, fast forward a little bit. Uh, your first mixtape. Oh, boy. <laughs> it was some jokes on that. <laughs> what made you come up with that project? Like, what was, like, did you have a concept or it was just more or less like, let me just throw something out there just to get my feet wet. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was more like I wanted to put together like a compilation of what I could do. Just wanted to show people like what band could do. Right. You know, and then like my my biggest uh inspirations in the game as far as producer wise are like Mike Will and okay. Pharrell and Timberland and all of them. So it right. was like I kind of wanted to give them pretty much everything, like trap, soft, hard, like right, right, right. everything. Right. So, yeah, like, and people always be like, yo, you're versatile. So I kind of like, was like, all right, boom, I'm about to put together a mixtape like, of all versatile beats on there. Right. So that's, that's how, how I came up with that, yeah. And then the name of it was like, Hungry for Success, because I'm, that's the motive, like, right. you know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm always hungry for success. Though. Right, right. So I was just going to keep building from there. Right. So since you dropped the tape, have you had more artists reach out to you as far as, you know, maybe recent a beat? Or you just pretty much still building up, you know, your library and then, you know. Yeah. I mean, I got different people. Uh, you know how Delaware is. Right. Um, it's kind of like people would hit me up, but like, like eight out of the ten would be like, yeah, I'm going to do it, but then don't do it. Right, you know right. You I mean? So, I mean, I got, I got clientele, but, like, they just, they not ready. Right, like, right. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's like, all right, I can't, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't do it with y'all, man. Right. What do you think, you know, what's in it for you in the future, you know what I mean? Because I, I hear a lot of people say, I see, you know, I've seen a lot of people come my way, my way. And I always say, yo, y'all stick out. Mm -hmm. You and Miss y'all stick out because y'all so versatile. So what makes you so versatile from maybe the next producer, you know what I mean, coming up and stuff like that? Um, I think what makes me different is, because I always say this to myself all the time, like, my my hunger for like what I my my what I want to be in life right. is like at an extreme level. Right. So it's kind of like when I wake up every morning, I'm just tired of looking at the same empty fridge. Right. I'm tired of looking at my bank account and I gotta manage my money. Like, <laughs> right. Right. You know what like, I mean? Talk so it's kind of like talk so happy day. I gotta I gotta <laughs> I gotta get out of where I'm at. Right. You know what I mean? And my, like my mindset is crazy. And then like when it comes to the beats like i'm definitely creative because it's like i definitely don't want to sound like y'all right, right you know what i mean so i feel like i always ask myself this question like if i was the, if a if a record label was to ask me yo if we give you a hundred mil right now what would make you different from anybody else in the industry Right. And I would tell them, yo, my sound is crazy. Right. And then like and then my, 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 my passion for it is just ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Right. And so like I try to elevate myself 
um, as I'm like as the years go by and stuff like that. So like, it's crazy, man. Yeah. I heard that. I heard yeah. that. Talk heavy. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk heavy. So what takes? So what kind? Not giving your, your your secret, your recipe away, but what kind of takes you to you know make a beat? You know, do you start like? I see some producers like you know they'll go through samples. You know what I'm saying? Or you pretty much you you start from scratch from everything. You just build everything up. Yeah, kind of like that. Like keep it funky. Like it depends on how I'm feeling. Right. If I feel like I want to do a sit like some like like today before I even came here, I was doing the uh, the, the uh, four page letter drum by Aaliyah. Right. I'm sampling that. Right. Tomorrow Tomorrow might be in my trap bag. Right, right. The next day I might be in an R and B bag. So it's kind of like it's it's different. It's different. So yeah, I kind of start off with like depending on how I feel. Like if I want to start off with something smooth, I start with something smooth. Or you know what I mean? Or like as far as like beat wise, like if I want to start off, I don't never start my beats off with the eight oh eights and kicks and all that. Right. I always okay. start off with the sim. Okay. Just because like you get the you get once you get the vibe of the sim. Right. Then everything else falls into place. It's so easy. Right. It's easy. So yeah. All right. Well, I know you said some of your inspirations, you know, were Timberland, Pharrell. You know, what kind of what their style kind of sticks out to make you like, wow, like yo, that yeah, like he nasty with it. Yeah. You know, what I mean? like God, <laughs> boy. Man, I think I think the songs that did it for me that made me be like, yo. I want to be like them. Right. Is um, Pharrell's uh, song um, number one. Okay. With Kanye West. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That joke, um, that made me really want to like really snap with right. his sound. And then, um, and then you know, um, Excuse Me Miss was really Oh, like, yeah, that was, that was crazy. I fell in love with that. Right, dude. right. And then um, Timberland's side, um, he had a couple ones. Um, the 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 um, say something right. by with him and Drake. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that, I know what you're talking about. Like so, kind of like when I hear that, like I kind of like mesh their two sounds together. Right. And you got me. Right. <laughs> that's oh, where that's where right. it come out at. Like, right. So I kind of like I wanna I wanna basically I wanna surpass the level that they've reached in their careers. Right. But I know it's going to take some hard work and all that stuff. So I'm ready for it, whatever comes. So so if a label came to you today and say, Ben, we got a million dollars for you. Mm -hmm. You going to take it or you just going to say, you know what? I'm going to just take the struggle and, and build up. Keep it funky, I might take the mill. I heard that, get out the hood. <laughs> I heard that, excuse, I'm sorry, listen. I might take the mill. I heard that, I heard that. Well, what's in the future for Bam Beats, man? Where can they find you out and all that? What's going on in the with future, you? In the future, I got a uh, releasing from the Success 3. Okay. Um, and I'm having, I'm actually having uh, a listening party for it. Okay. Here. Okay. On the 6th of August. Okay. So if you want to come, make sure you hit me up. Um, <laughs> Other than that, man, I got I'm working on songs with my man Tommy, uh, of course Mitch. Um, right. Who else I'm working with? I'm working with Nisa Philly. Okay. Um, just everybody, man. Right. Like I'm sure. trying to, yeah, like you know what I mean. And it's uh, besides my buzz in Delaware, I'm trying to reach Philly as well. Right. Because it's some it's some bulls up here that got bars that you know what I mean. Right, and I, right. and I, and I I I kind of like when I listen to people's songs, I I want to change. Like how they like what they're used to having. Right. So like when I come around, it's like, oh man, I already know what being gonna have for me. Right, right. It's, it's gonna be special. a challenge. It's right. gonna be a challenge, but I'm gonna get it done. Right. So yeah, I always get the I always get the compliments like, man, you made me change the whole like the way I think on right. beats now. Right. Everybody say that to me. So, but um, social networks. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Band Beast with three Z's. Um, Twitter. At Band Beats with two Z's. It's a, a Snapchat, capital Band Beats, no spaces, just all capital letters with one Z. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Talk Heavy TV, what up? <laughs> Man, listen, Talk Heavy TV, DJ Cousin B, Band Beats with a Z. Make sure you go check him out. Look for that Hunter Success 3, baby. And I want to say one more thing, too. Shout out to Cousin B, too, because she really put me and Mitch on the map. Like, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be where we at today. 
So big shout outs to Cousin B, man, for discovering the talent, believing in us, and, and you mean, you know. Listen, I'm going to see if I can get some beats out of him since he's saying all this. Talk Heavy TV, we out here. Let's get it. <laughs> Enjoy this weather out in Philly, man. Why not?